Hello guys, this is JNM and today I want to talk about the question what programming language to learn first because I got so many requests on this topic. Well, this question is not easy to answer or at least there is no clearly defined answer for this. First of all, you will receive many different answers depending on who you ask because most people do not value the arguments on this subject as much as their personal preferences. This could be because they might have a hard time learning the language, then they understand and like it, and then they persuade other people to use this language instead of any other, which can even be kind of religious in extreme cases. But I will try to focus on arguments in this video. The choice for a first programming language also depends on what you really want to do. So what are your requirements? Why do you want to use a programming language and what for? Do you want to develop an office application or program a microcontroller or perhaps a 2D or 3D game? That's really important to know before you start and before you decide to use a particular language. You might not have any concrete requirement and just want to learn how to program. If so, why do you want this? What is your motivation? There are many motivations. Perhaps you heard somewhere that coding is good for your health or avoids heart attacks or something like that. No, just kidding. But you really have to know why to do this and what for. And if you don't have any programming experience, it is essential to understand the concepts of programming and to start coding in practice. I mean, not to read the concepts in a book or an article over weeks and then finally start coding. You really have to do it with your computer and a development environment and a particular programming problem or task that you have to solve. Well, I think it makes sense to choose a language that supports modern common concepts such as object-oriented programming because in today's common programming languages you will come across these approaches again and again and if you already mastered one programming language you will be able to transfer this knowledge to a second one. Of course there are really a lot of languages that you can choose from like Python, C++ or C Sharp just to name a few. The question is whether they are suitable for learning. Let's start with Python. Python is a scripting language that supports really powerful libraries and all common paradigms and concepts like object-oriented programming or modularization. One advantage of this language is that you don't have to deal with memory management as in C++ because there's a garbage collector and this takes care of cleaning up the created memory. From my point of view, this makes things easier in the beginning and you can concentrate on what you want to learn, namely the basics of programming itself. You can focus on questions like what are functions, variables, loops, if statements and when to use them and for which purpose. So to sum it up, Python is modern, very powerful, simple and easy to learn. So in my opinion, it is really a good language to start with and to learn the concepts and the basics of programming. And by the way, many universities today see it the same way and therefore often offer Python in the first semesters for programming courses. But the same can be said about C Sharp but the syntax is a bit closer to C++. So if your goal is to learn C++, I think it could be a really good way to start with C Sharp first, to not have the hurdles of pointers and memory management in the way, but to learn the concepts of a modern programming language and to learn a similar syntax to C++ at the same time. However, if you want to learn a language, let's say for web programming or something like that, and you probably never want to have anything to do with C++, 
compilers or assembly code, I can recommend languages like Python or PHP. But of course, this is a game development channel and if you are a game developer, perhaps you have already decided which game engine you would like to use. If this is the case and you want to go with Godot, go with Godot, then I can recommend Python as well because they want to support it or they will support it in the next version. And I read that C Sharp will also be offered as a programming language by the Godot engine. The Unity game engine, on the other hand, fully relies on C Sharp. So if you prefer Unity, then you should concentrate on C Sharp. They used to support JavaScript, but they cancelled this. For the Unreal Engine, C++ is the language of choice. If you would like to code in addition to using their visual programming language called Blueprints, and by the way, I always recommend coding, especially for larger projects, because of the flexibility it offers. So, as you can see, it depends on your motivation and your requirements, which language you start with, but there's another component that matters, and this is your personality in means of which learning type you correspond to. If you are the guy who likes to get through difficult technical tasks, then you can start with C++. No problem, if this is fun for you, and you don't get demotivated by strange compiler or linker messages, fine. But a softer introduction, which might be less painful at the beginning, is Python or C Sharp, just from my point of view. So these were my thoughts on which programming language you can start with. If you like my channel and this video, please don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next one. Perhaps you'd like to support me also on my Patreon. This would really help me to keep this channel going. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.